So if you're looking to breathe new life into your old or even newer TV, then there really isn't a ton of stuff you can do other than like surround sound system, set top box, maybe a Chromecast and a fancy universal remote. So I guess actually there's a fair amount you can do, N never mind. Well, adding to that list is the Dream Screen. Now I was sent their HD model to help raise awareness for like uh, their new upcoming 4K model which supports both 4K input and output. And in case you aren't aware of what the Dream Screen is and does, it's a dynamic ambient lighting kit that goes on the back of your TV and provides real time dynamic ambient backlighting. So in the box, we get our actually useful user manual, a hub with three HDMI ports, a short HDMI cable, the RGB LED strips, and of course the power adapter. The LED strips attach to the back of your TV with an adhesive that can be removed pretty easily and was actually also really easy to install. Now you can see how it looks on the back of the TV with no loose cables hanging around that are visible from the front, but I did take some double-sided tape to mount both the power adapter and hub to the back of the TV, otherwise they would have looked all fugly just hanging around. Gotta keep it looking clean, folks. Gotta keep it looking clean. Now, once it was all installed, I fired it up and three of the six bottom LED strips weren't working. Um, I went through the troubleshooting guide, I unplugged everything, I plugged everything back in, still no joy. About 20 minutes later, they started working. Um, I'm not really sure what caused it, but last night it stopped working again, and then this morning I played around with some settings and boop, they popped back up again. So I don't know what's going on with that. And when things like that happen with my review units, I'm a little bit hesitant to recommend it to others, considering especially that this particular product has been around for about a year now and they still haven't perfected it. Anyways, once everything was up and running, I was pretty impressed. Uh, it does a good job of creating active real-time ambient lighting, but I found that the colors don't always match up with what's on the screen. And it has a very blue and teal bias, like instead of a white light when the scene calls for white light, it defaults to a light blue or teal even though it's capable of producing white light. Now reds and yellows don't get used very often, like when playing a sunset video, the ambient lighting goes all light blue or teal, which is really frustrating and totally breaks your immersion from the content you're watching. Now for gaming, I sort of have mixed feelings. Uh, with games like Overwatch, which is very bright and colorful, uh, you'll really see what the dream screen can do and can really immerse you in the game. But games like Battlefield 1 or similar that aren't really very colorful compared to Overwatch as an example, tends to only show light blues, some whites, light greens, and doesn't really change colors that much. And sometimes when you see fire and explosions, there's no ambient light reaction, which really disappointed me. But then watching some content on like Netflix or whatever, again depending on the scene, can either display some awesome immersive dynamic ambient backlighting or the colors are all wrong and sort of messes with your eyes which again destroys the immersion of the content you're watching. Now the iOS and Android app is actually pretty well polished and works quite well. Uh, it gives us options to adjust the color mix, give it a color boost in case your walls aren't white, adjust the brightness of the four zones or turn them off altogether. You can also set some scenes for some cool ambient non-content related lighting or adjust the ambient lighting to the color of your choice. I think it's a really cool product. Uh, you can find cheaper alternatives on Amazon for example, but they simply don't offer the same options and features that the dream screen does. But I don't know man, for $150 to $200 depending on the size of your TV, is it worth it? Well for me it's a cool thing to have when I have company over, but the big issue for me is that I have a smart TV. Every app I use to watch all my shows and movies with is available on my TV and because the dream screen requires the hub and HDMI input to tell the LEDs which colors to change, watching Plex or Netflix from my TV's apps with the dream screen isn't possible. And sure, I can set up a static ambient lighting scene, but I want dynamic lighting. I don't want to have to use a 4K Chromecast or Blu-ray player to do so. Not to mention the apps on my TV are far more reliable than casting to a Chromecast is. Anyways, that about does it for this one. Uh, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, show me some love with that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. And don't forget to bug me on Twitter and Instagram if you're bored. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers. Breach! Ah.